the role of a financial institution is to support its client base, both governments and corporations, to finance their balance sheets, to finance growth by allowing them efficient access to the capital markets. And when you think about why a company finances in the capital markets, when you think about why a government might raise money in the capital markets, it's primarily tied to financing growth. And when I think about my own role leading our capital markets business, I'm already seeing parts of the economy that are lacking availability of credit. And that lack of credit is already serving to unfortunately dampen economic growth. Infrastructure is a good example of this point whether it's building roads or bridges or schools, if we don't invest in infrastructure, it's very hard to envision how you're gonna ensure economic growth in the future. And unfortunately right now, and this is true in Europe, but it's equally true globally, there's a massive infrastructure deficit. Governments are paring back. They're trying to get their own fiscal house in order. So governments globally are spending less on infrastructure development. Some of the funding historically from infrastructure has come from the banking system. Equally, banks are trying to shrink their own balance sheets. They are unable to finance the deficit that we're seeing in infrastructure. And what I find interesting when I think about the other side of a large financial institution, we have relationships and we're very much in touch with institutional buyers of financial assets. When I go out and talk to institutional investors, and in this case, specifically pension funds, pension funds in Europe are desperate to put long-term yieldy assets into their portfolios. Infrastructure, by definition, is the financing of long-term projects. Large financial institutions have to figure out innovative and clever ways to match those two sides. It hasn't happened yet, but I think that's where the dialogue has to turn to, and a large financial institution will play a part in that, but we're only one of several constituents that are really gonna have to come together to figure out how we're gonna finance this large infrastructure deficit. So governments, regulators, other policymakers, large financial institutions will have to come to the table to help get their head around how we're gonna finance this deficit.